a couple of weeks ago, a certain YouTube athlete was talking on his fitness channel, if you can call it a fitness channel, and saying that plates that haven't been calibrated are often wrong by up to 10%. So I figured I'd check this out and see if this is actually true, or if it's just another crazy thing that he said on his YouTube videos in order to get more views. Or perhaps because he simply doesn't want to accept that other athletes are actually stronger than him. So I took a scale that most people would have in their bathroom in order to weigh themselves. It has a precision of 0.5 pounds. This test will definitely see whether weights that are 45 pounds actually weigh all the same, or if there is variation between them. I also don't believe its accuracy is worse than half a pound at this low weight. I'm sure at 300 pounds would be plus or minus 2 or 3 pounds, but at these low weights of less than 50 pounds, the worst you can see is 0.5 pound accuracy of the shoes. So what you can see as I weigh these is that for the small weights of 2.5 pounds, 5 pounds, 10 pounds, any inaccuracy in their weights is smaller than the amount that, that can be measured by this scale. At around 25 pounds, the weights are no longer reading at exactly the same as they are labeled for. At 35 pounds, 45 pounds, the difference gets more measurable. At 45 pounds, one of the weights was off by as much as 2.5 pounds. Now one very important fact about all these measurements is that Every single weight that was off was off by being higher than it should have been. Not a single weight was lower than was written on the weight. I'm actually a little surprised by this because I would think this would be the companies that make these weights throwing away money because they're giving you extra metal that they have to pay for. I thought the average weight would be 45 and that there would be some weights that are more than that and some weights that are less than that. I did not expect to find that every single weight was more than it was labeled for. So what we can learn from all this is that if somebody's using uncalibrated plates and is doing a personal record for their bench press with them, then they are lifting more than they think they are, perhaps by as much as 5%. But I found no evidence to suggest that they would actually be lifting less than they thought, let alone by a 10% error. Are these 5% errors going to matter much? I don't think so. Unless, of course, you were doing it for a competition, in which case the uncalibrated weights would be che cheating you by as much as 5%. As you watch this video, you'll notice that I used several different brands of weights that I acquired different places. I did not find that any particular brand of weight was more reliable than any other. Well, that's all I have a lot to say a lot about today. I hope it was a lot informative.